Right. This is ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride has the formula of NH4Cl. Huh? So it has uh, chlorine, it has hydrogen, it has nitrogen. Okay, ammonium chloride, NH4. Now, the NH4, when you heat it like this, uh, when you heat NH4, yeah, let's switch off this. And we use this. Now we are going to have two litmus paper here. So one is red, the other is blue. And we are going to put in the litmus paper as we heat this for it to sublime. Oh. Can you handle this? Can you handle this? Yeah. What you do, you put it nearer to the camera. Yeah, okay. You hit this and it will begin to sublime. Can you see that actually we say that the the thing is supposed to sublime? Uh, let me hold the meter. The thing is supposed to sublime, but yet you can see little little vapor right oh, inside. But now you can't see the vapor. This is because the hydrogen chloride and the um, ammonia is trying to sublime back in the air and it forms little droplets of ammonium chloride. So now if I put this in, can you see this blue litmus paper will change color? Oh, put it near the camera. I, uh, yeah, it changed to red, huh? which means that uh, hydrogen chloride gas, which is acidic, is produced. And then if we put this inside now, red litmus paper, what do you think will happen to the red litmus paper? Will it change a little bit blue? Did it change a little bit blue? It does, right? Huh? In a way, it does. But can't see it properly. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's hit this. Let's hit this. And then the the uh, ammonia gas which is actually lighter than hydrogen chloride gas, will come out of the test tube first. And this one, I put it nearer the camera. Uh -huh. it still will not change blue. Does it change a little bit blue? It does, right? Huh? At the bottom, can you see? Why well, it changes black? <laughs> Actually, it changes a little bit blue, but it's difficult to see the blue color. Huh? I think partly because the uh, the the uh, red litmus paper was not moist enough. Let's put a little bit of water. Huh? Let's put a little bit of water and see. Okay. Okay, let's put a little bit of water. Let's hit that again. Let's hit that again. Let's change the 
ammonia gas out of the test tube and see see whether it can change blue it's actually a little bit bluish but you you really cannot see that properly mm. okay la. It's a little bit bluish, but it is not very, very clear. Huh? A little bit bluish, but it's not very clear. Anyway, <coughs> uh, that was the sublimation process of heating ammonium chloride. And of course, another process of uh, heating, another process of sublimation will be solid carbon dioxide. So now we pour this in over here. We don't want to waste. Okay. Ah, never mind. We put it there. Oh. We are going to add something. Now, ammonium chloride can be equivalent to two gases. So what we are going to do now is we are going to add a little bit of we're going to add a little bit of sodium hydroxide. This is sodium hydroxide, which is also called caustic soda. Huh? Sodium hydroxide. So uh, we're going to put a little bit of sodium hydroxide inside here. And put it inside there. Okay. Okay. Now, what's going to happen is this. We're going to shake this. Huh? We're going to shake this. And then they will mix together. Now what we want to do now is there will be a reaction. Uh, take out your mask. And I want you to smell this. Smell up. Huh? <laughs> what do you smell? That is actually see whether you can smell through your mask. Okay. That is actually ammonia. Huh? Uh, let's see this. Huh? We put it over here and it turns it turns blue. Okay, okay. That is ammonia. And I want you to check uh, the word smelling salt. See what you got. Smelling salt. Smelling salt. Not smelly, but smelling salt. Smelling salt is to... is actually ammonia. Okay. The, what does it say? Where? There. Can you make it bigger? Cannot. What does you say? Read for us. Oh, okay. What is smelling salt? Yeah, read, read here. Smelling salt. Yeah. Smelling salt, ha salt has been used for, as a medical tool since the 13th century. Yeah. They were used frequently to prevent or remove fainting, but smelling salts have gone out of style in most medical circles. Yeah. Smelling salts can be, can be yeah, it can help people who are a little bit giddy and uh, fainting. Huh? A little bit giddy and fainting. Uh, let me wash my hands first. <laughs> uh, okay, that is ammonia gas being produced. Yourself, uh, 
people who are a little bit giddy in painting. Um, they actually smell, smell, uh, sell smelling salt. Huh? They sell smelling salt, but uh, unfortunately now it's very difficult to get smelling salt, which release ammonia in a very slow way. Okay. Uh, why just now we put in sodium hydroxide and um, we put in sodium hydroxide and ammonium chloride right now. So what we want to do now, we are going to pour a little bit of water inside. I'm going to pour a little bit of water inside. And if we shake this, the solid will all dissolve. We not all the solid will dissolve. Uh, because there was a lot of um, there was a lot of sodium hydroxide, so we take some more, and then we dissolve in more water. Okay, we dissolve in more water. Okay. So now you see, if I were to shake this, everything will dissolve. Now this is called a solution. Huh? It's called a solution. And what we want to do now is we want to produce, hold on, a suspension. A suspension and a solution is very different. Okay. Now this is uh, hey, not this one. <laughs> I'm going to take uh, some uh, where is my copper? Oh, I'm going to take a little bit of powder. This is a black powder. And this black powder cannot dissolve in cannot dissolve in water. So we put the black powder inside here. And then we put a little bit of water and see. Can you see this black powder? It cannot dissolve right off. Uh, I think we put a little bit too much, but never mind. Let's put some more. Okay. Now this is what we call a suspension. Okay. And that is a solution. So what we want to do now is we want to shine a beam of light. We're going to shine a beam of light through this. And let's see what you see. Do you see anything in this portion, in the solution on your left? Do you see the beam of light? No, right? Huh? But you see the beam of light in the Suspension. Can you see the beam of light in the suspension? Yeah, but you cannot see the beam of light in the solution. So the sodium the sodium hydroxide and the ammonium chloride dissolve to form a solution. While this manganese dioxide did not dissolve, so it forms a suspension, and the suspension can give you this kind of this kind of effect uh, this is because the little particle scatter the light towards your eye huh? so if we switch off the light yeah, then it will be clearer okay now this suspension is brighter and you see nothing on this one 
there you are. And there is a name for this. It was discovered by somebody called Tyndall. T Y N. Uh, no, no. Tin, yeah. T Y N. T Y N. Yeah, T Y N D A L L. Tinder. Tinder is the, we call it Tinder effect. Huh? Uh, sometimes when the sun comes out in the sky, there are droplets of water in the air. Then you see the beam of sunlight going through the air, right? Huh? Because the air is not clean. The air has got particles suspended inside. So it's a suspension of solid in in a dirty air huh? or dusty air. We can actually see this in a room which is slightly dusty. Let's see. Let's come over here. Let's come over here. Now we have got a dark room here, right? So we shine this light. Can you see the light being shine, shine here? Can you see the light? Can you see the light there? Can you see the beam of light? Yes or no? Yeah. Because it is slightly, slightly dusty. So you can see this beam of light. Yeah? Yeah. Of course, if you close it more, then you might be able to see it more like that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. What effect is that called? Tinder effect. Okay, it's called Tinder effect. There you are. We have done quite a good job of showing sublimation, producing smelling salt, and Tinder effect. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should give you the smelling salt and you go back and let your mother smell <laughs> the smelling salt. Uh, okay.